What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. <sighs> He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> that guy was dead. I swear to God, that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on, let's grab what we can and get moving. Hello, everyone. Chef Jitsu here. Welcome to or back to my channel, whichever the case may be. Bringing you another session of I Play Games. Uh, we're making our long awaited return to State of Decay. As you can see, I have switched characters. It has been quite some time since my last upload of this game, so I am not going to lie to you. I like to do live commentary, and I started the game over, so of course, uh, gear and all that stuff is going to be changed slightly, but we are at the same point. Uh, one of the cool features of the game is this exact thing, that I can switch between multiple Where's characters. Right now I only have two. Just like Me from? and a couple guys from the unit came up here to do some deer hunting. Are you in the army? You don't miss much, do you? Anyway, we we're on our way back when these psychos rushed us out of goddamn nowhere. What happened? You see me? You see Coltner Strand? Do the math. And, uh, something I should mention, along with the live commentary, is that I'm going to try to keep it to a minimum with this game, because I think the voice acting is good, I've enjoyed the story of so far as what I've seen of it, and I want you to do the same. They paid the voice actors to do uh, a job, so why not let them do it? We just head to town and try to find somebody. Yeah, or, or, well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can raise somebody on that. Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? I don't know. I figured if he had a radio, there must be somebody on the other end. So you robbed a dead guy, and you expect his friends to help us out? Wait, who says they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh, try not to look too dicey? Okay, well, you heard the man, and I hope you saw the cues. We've got the keys to the truck. Sounds like I've got company. And we're heading to the Ow! Spencer's Mill, which I can only assume, in quotes, because I already know, is the town below. And of course we're headed to the church, because that's where the radio signal's coming from. Okay, I will say, after playing this game a few times, the loot spawns in different locations. Yes! 
And I say yes because I really like the axe. Bridge is not complete. Oh, bunch of zombies! Get off of my truck! Damn! Oh! Wham, sucker! And I don't mean wham is in the band like George Michael was in. I mean wham is in blammo! <laughs> Whoa, that was cool. Okay, so you can see the physics are a bit twacked. Anyone else want some? Bam! And bam again! Oh, that's the broken bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Enough of running over zombies senselessly. Looks like we could climb up over here, maybe. Oh, whoa! Ow! Oh! And not good. Screw this. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Jesus, dude, they're not slowing down. Okay, a couple things. I'm sure I mentioned it in the previous video, but if you are new and since I'm kind of restarting I feel like the left hand indicator on my mini map <laughs> We're headed your way. You Good said job. you were holed up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception up at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy. Hold on. <laughs> Get 
apparently I'm a lousy shot. Where were we? All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? If Better deal with this first. <laughs> Okay, what's up? It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random mauling, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky, just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are... zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or, or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So wait a minute. What's the government's response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever... So, how'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You want to confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. Okay, yeah, so the left-hand indicator is my, uh, stamina or endurance. And as I was climbing the cliffs that first time, or as I was climbing the cliffs, uh, it was dropping, and I was not too happy, because, you know. Lily, did you invite these strangers? I'm good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to God damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. Well, I was going to try to switch back to Marcus because I feel like he's the main character, but I guess I can't. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers. 
For by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily, he's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet ya. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... <sighs> okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that pay our rent? <sighs> yeah. Okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Here. You lost me. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. Appreciate it. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. Alright, so we switch back to Marcus. How did you all end up at the church anyways? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. Okay. I feel I should mention that I try to keep my videos 20 to 30 minutes long for a couple of reasons. I feel any longer than that this is bad. at one this time is more than, bad. Sounds good. you know, more than enough. It's reckless is all I'm saying. Run from the family. Jacob and Thomas are both AWOL. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Those two are going to get themselves killed one of these days. Jake wouldn't be much of a loss, but Thomas is pretty good with that revolver. You're a cold-hearted son of a bitch, you know that? Holding hands and singing Kumbaya isn't gonna keep us alive. Folks around here ought to remember that. Uh, and the other reason being that my internet service is not the greatest, so... Uploading a 20 to 30 minute video can take anywhere from 8 to 12 to 14 hours. Which is why you don't see a whole lot of uh, updates or new footage weekly. I mean, I would really like to, but that's where I'm at now. 
but I'm at l looking at ways to uh, enhance that. So yeah, we've switched back to Marcus, and we are going to the radio tower, which I believe is that bad boy off in the distance. Okay, I think she's clipping through the wall. That's just really good pantomiming right there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's going on. Anyway. Good sight lines up there. I'm there. Gonna take a look around. There's a building we'll want to check out. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay, and each of these locations that I'm spotting are being added to my map. Hey. What's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people. And it looks like no one's broken in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. I'm picking something up. If you're looking for any more hands, we'd be happy to join you. You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee. Thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. I think I've seen enough for now. Okay. Why waste time? I'm pretty sure they're already there. Let's go to the vet's office. Another group of survivors.
Do me a favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Zeds like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep them running. So we gotta be careful about when we use them. Oh, are you kidding me?